This is basically a hybrid course that combines engineering courses with management courses. Now I'm going to focus on MIS for rest of this video because that is the most popular kind of MEM course. So let me improve this part of the system to rise or increase my profits. So while the curriculum is going to vary between university to university, overall this is what you will have. That is a great opportunity for all MIS graduates. Earlier the only option you had was to do an MBA later on and then decide on the school list so that is a very simple understanding ever since i started advising ms applicants 10 years ago there has been one field the popularity of which has grown faster than i could have imagined and that course is mis or mem i basically put them in the same category they are techno management courses and there are multiple courses like this and i've been getting a lot of queries about mis so i'm doing this video and i'm going to cover four things today firstly what is mis and mem why are these fields becoming so popular who should go for these courses and who should not and lastly a few good universities in each of these let's get started so what is mis and mem i will start with mem which stands for masters in engineering management program as the name suggests, this is basically a hybrid course that combines engineering courses with management courses and all any engineer who wants to get into a techno management career can pursue these programs. Now, there are so many different branches in engineering such as mechanical, electrical, etc. So, MEM is more of a generic name. It can be applicable for any kind of engineer but if you think of MEM specifically for IT engineers then that program is known as MIS okay so MIS is MEM for IT engineers that is the simplest way to understand this but I'm going to talk about all these programs in the same category these are techno management programs and different universities call them by different names don't get confused somewhere they will call it MEM, MIS, MSIS, MIMS, MOT, MSTM they are essentially the variations of MEM programs only. Now I'm going to focus on MIS for rest of this video because that is the most popular kind of MEM course. So many people think that MIS is masters in information system. Well that's wrong. That is MSIS. So what is MIS? Let us first understand what MIS is. MIS is management information system. It is a computer based software or system that organizations use to handle their data or internal process processes well. This is a system which also visualizes the information for them, presents the data in a way that management can make informed decisions. Let us understand with a very simple example. Let's say you are running a lemonade stand and you want to understand what are the different costs and where can you make it more efficient, how can you improve your profits etc. So this uh, system will basically track everything, data like number of cups you are using, how many lemons did you use, what is your cost for these things and it can present the information in simple charts or graphs that will make it easy for you to understand okay this is where the bottleneck is happening so let me improve this part of the system to rise uh, or increase my profits so that is a very simple understanding now we have huge complex organizations so they need a system like MIS to get a snapshot of what exactly is going on in the organization and how they can make it more efficient so in simple terms MIS is basically a tool that helps people who run businesses or organizations to make better decisions by providing them with useful information. Now, when you are applying for MIS, you basically apply for a MS in MIS. And that is what generally we call it MIS program, but they are essentially a master's in MIS courses. Now that the terminology is clear, let us understand what exactly do you study when you do a MS in MIS course, okay? So while the curriculum is going to vary between university to university, overall, this this is what you will have. You will have some core courses. These are mandatory courses that every student will have to take and these would be courses like introduction to MIS, database management systems, systems analysis and design, information security and privacy. Then you will have certain electives. These are like you know optional courses and you can choose between a huge pool of electives. You can take courses that are most relevant to your career goals and here we have examples like 
ई कॉमर्स एंड डिजिटल मार्केटिंग बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस एंड एनालिटिक्स प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंटरप्राइज सिस्टम एक्सेट्रा देन यूजली देर इज ऑल्सो कैप स्टोन प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज दीज कोर्सेज आर वेरी इंडस्ट्री ओरिएंटेड दे वॉन्ट टू ट्रेन यू इन टू हाउ टू अप्लाई एवरीथिंग यू आर लर्निंग इन योर क्लास रूम इन टू रियल वर्ल्ड प्रोजेक्ट सो द कैप स्टोन प्रोजेक्ट यूजली यू गेट टू वर्क विद अ कंपनी और अ लोकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेर दे गिव यू अ स्पेसिफिक प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड यू आर डेवलपिंग अ सिस्टम फॉर देम एंड लास्ट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ दीज कोर्सेज कैन बी एन ऑप्शनल इंटर्नशिप विच इज अगेन टू हेल्प यू गेट हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस इन द इंडस्ट्री सो एज यू कैन सी दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंडस्ट्री ओरिएंटेड कोर्सेज ओवरऑल आई वुड से एम आई एस कोर्स गिवज यू अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फाउंडेशन इन इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स डेटा मैनेजमेंट एंड बिजनेस प्रोसेसिस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन टेक specific electives depending on your own choices second thing i want to cover is why are these courses becoming so popular and there are multiple reasons and i think the few reasons are first is it itself there is such a boom right it is becoming an integral part of all industries so even if it's a cosmetic company they will need a mis system to manage their business to understand what's going on so that is a great opportunity for all mis graduates then there is high earning potential of these programs according to bureau of labor stats the median income for a computer and information systems professional was around 150000 dollars in may of 2020 so it's a pretty attractive career option third is it's a very flexible field and you can get into a variety of career paths you can even become a software developer you can become a project manager you can become a business analyst you can become a it consultant so there are so many career paths that open for you after this degree and lastly it's a very interdisciplinary field you are learning engineering also you are learning management also so it's very attractive to those who want to build a sort of a diverse skill set you know so that is why we are seeing a growing interest in this field but here is my analysis now in india or especially asian countries many people join ng engineering purely out of societal or parental pressure but they may not be that interested in coding per se so these people now let's say you want to get into more management or people oriented roles earlier the only option you had was to do a mba later on but let's say i don't want to leave engineering entirely but i want to be in a more people facing role so in that case mis is a very good option because it can open all these career paths that we were talking like it consulting which is a very people facing role and in fact one of my clients got into product management role after doing a sdm program from mit and previous to that she had no product management experience so this mem degree helped her switch to product management as well so many engineering professionals or students from asia from india who are not entirely interested in coding alone are finding these courses very very attractive by the way we did a previous video on non cs career options for professionals who just don't want to be into coding but they want to develop a career in something related to tech so you can check out that video if that interests you third thing let's talk about is who should apply to these programs and who should not now i have seen a big known uh, among students that like you know somehow mis is inferior to ms in computer science and if your profile is not good enough for cs you go for mis that is absolute bullshit the career pathways from these two programs are entirely different like and simplest way to understand would be like if you want to get into a core tech or coding role in a top tech company like google meta amazon apple etc it is better to go with a ms cs kind of degree because that will train you on algorithms object oriented programming and the core coding concepts but if you don't want to get into pure coding role or if you just want to do in software development in non tech companies or if you want to get switch over to techno management roles then mis is the better course for you because the courses are designed to train you on skills which are appreciated by businesses so they will train you on business communication they will make you do a lot of presentations and capstone projects which will make you more ready for the industry and if you want to get into roles like as i said business analyst it consultant project management product management then mis can get you there ms cs is not the right course in that case so the best way to understand which course to apply is to first get a clarity on your career goal and then decide which program can take you there lastly let's come to what are some good schools to apply to in mis and mbm first here's a word of caution the 
curriculum of these programs varies a lot between university to university. In some universities, these courses are offered by the engineering schools and you can take a few electives from the business school and vice versa, which means that the orientation of these courses can be technical in one university and in other university, it can be more business oriented. So first of all, understand your career goal. What kind of course are you looking for? And then decide on the school list. But talking about like, overall reputation and everything here are my favorite mis and mem programs so this includes duke mem which is a top mem program cmu mism particularly the 16 month track then we have uc berkeley mims program mit sdm mit sdm is specifically for mid career professionals so if you if you're in your late 20s or 30s very good program cornell mem dartmouth mem nyu msis tamu mis tamu mis is a great roi program because the tuition is cheap. University of Washington MIS program, Purdue MEM. Now, I'm not a big fan of University of Maryland College Park and University of Arizona MIS programs. I've heard mediocre reviews from our clients. In the lower ranked programs, I also like NYU MOT, Syracuse MIS, Sunny Buffalo MIS and Northeastern is also okay because of the co-op option. So there are so many choices these days and there will be more programs worth attending to. I'm just sharing a few which are more popular among my applicant pool. So that was all about MIS. It's a wide topic. I've tried to cover the most critical or important to no points for the applicants but if you have other specific questions about these programs post them in the comments and I will try to either get back to you or do a follow-up video on this so that's it from my side stay subscribed and I will see you next week bye bye